Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here. Grace to and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as you saw from the video, it is Father's Day weekend. And we are here to celebrate all the men in our lives, from our dads to our grandpas, our uncles, our brothers, coaches, teachers, all those who have played a father role in our lives. In fact, today, June 18th, is my 42nd anniversary of being a dad. Our firstborn was born 42 years ago today. And so happy Father's Day to all you dads who are watching. And of course, what would Father's Day be without some really funny Father's Day jokes or father's jokes? And of course, that's an oxymoron, right? Funny and dad jokes. But we're going to do them anyway. I've got 10 for you. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. All right. Did you hear about the giant squid who wanted to be a stand-up comedian? He always dreamed of cracking them up. Uh, what do you get when you smash Mentos with a hammer? Fragmentos. Uh, knock, knock. Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Knock, knock. Oops, I did it again. Uh, I went to see my doctor because I was afraid I had a funny bone. And he said, nah, it's just a little humorous. How do fishermen get jobs? Networking. The problem with fishing is that everything breaks. It's a real problem. <laughs> I just finished reading Great Expectations. It wasn't all I hoped for. What do you call a pharmacist's workout routine? Our exercise. What kind of music do fishermen like? Soul music. And I saved the best for last. I accidentally drank some holy water with my laxative. I'm about to start a religious movement. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's a delayed laugh. <laughs> well, they had to think about it first. Well, we're glad you're with us. And uh, just as we did a month ago when we honored all the women in our lives, today we honor all the men in our lives. And we begin by worshiping together in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let's sing that at everybody. For all the tears you wiped away. For all the years you gave to me. For all the wisdom you spoke with care. For all the moments we made together. For all the hugs you knew I needed. For all the nights you waited up for me. For all the times you showed me what a great dad is. For all the memories I'll never forget. Thank you. the dads, our greatest teachers, our favorite heroes, our closest friends, and our biggest fans, our dads. Well, men, I'd like to take just a couple moments to share some words from God's heart to yours. This is a vision of who God sees you to be. This is a vision of who you are, who God created, created you to be. And these come from Mustafa Marconi, and uh, he says very well what I think God thinks about you. What is a man? Is a man not strength? A man is his word. A man is integrity. A man is loving, caring, and responsible. A man is humble yet proud, gentle to those weaker than him, yet firm when necessary. A man is kind to strangers, generous to the poor. He bows not to pressures from his peers, neither to the deceptions of fools. A man is honesty. A man is character. A man remembers where he came from and looks down only to help another human being. A man stands for something, is willing to die for his principles, and will not waver to popular opinions. What is a man? A man is hope in the eyes of the suffering. A man is justice to the wrongfully persecuted. 
A man is peace to those ravaged by war. A man steers clear of controversy and scandal, for his reputation precedes him. A man is power. A man is energy. A man is wisdom. A man is understanding. A man is compassion. A man faces his toughest challenges, his most dangerous foes, and conquers his deepest fears with the faith of a mustard seed. What is a man? A man is the light that brightens the darkest of the rooms. A man is the rain that nourishes our crops. A man is the tree that protects us from the elements. A man is the sun that all life revolves around. A man is a beacon for all others to follow. A man is courage. A man is honor. A man is faith. But more than anything else, a man is love. For a man without love in his heart can never truly be a man. Men, you were created in the image of God. Man, Jesus died for you and rose again so that you could be that image of God. A man. The man that God created you to be. A man that the world needs you to be. Heavenly Father, I pray for our men today. I pray that we would hear the Spirit of God speak to our hearts to be who you created us to be, men of courage and integrity and honor, men who use our gifts and talents to build a better world, men who use our gifts and talents to share the love of Jesus with others. And Heavenly Father, for every man who is watching today, I pray that they would sense and deepen their soul your love for them and to hear those words from your heart to theirs. You are my beloved son, and I'm fully pleased with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I want to thank you for joining us for our worship service today, especially, again, to all the men who are watching. And uh, we're so glad to have you with us. And if this is your first time watching us and participating in our worship service today, uh, we'd like to send you a gift, a card to Starbucks. If you uh, text the word NEW to 623-295-2484, we're going to send you that card, and you can enjoy uh, a little beverage or a little snack, and it'll be a reminder uh, of our love for you and God's love for you. If you text the word prayer to that same number, we'll pray for you this week. And if you text the word events, uh, there are a lot of things happening this summer. We'd like you to know about them both online and in-house. Please text the word events, and we'll send you a link uh, that will let you know all the things that are coming up. Uh, for those of you who live in Phoenix, you already know this. It has been a hot, hot week. Uh, we had several days over 110 degrees, and it's particularly difficult for our homeless friends. And so because of your generosity, we were able to make a gift this week to an organization here in Phoenix to get water bottles out to all those who need them. And again, that happened because of you. And then last week, we did something really interesting in-house that I thought you'd be interested in knowing about. Uh, we took a second offering, what we call a missions offering, and uh, that offering, all of it, 100% of it, goes to a particular cause. And so here's what we're doing. This weekend, during our services, we're going to take that money and we've converted them into gift cards. And we're going to have those gift cards out in the lobby. And we're inviting people to come to worship on this weekend who come live for worship just to take a card or two or three. If they need it for themselves, great. If they've got some friends who need it, great. Because we know that people are really struggling right now financially, both in our congregation and outside. And so this is one of the ways that we're able to speak grace into these very difficult economic times, and that happens because of your giving. And so when you think about what would the world be like if grace wasn't here, if your generosity wasn't a part of this world, there'd be a lot of people hurting today. So thank you for making a difference. If you want to keep that up, you can text your gift to 623-295-2484. All you need to do is put in the message how much you'd like to give and hit send. Uh, you see we've got a QR code right here. You can hold your phone up, and if you turn your camera on, it'll capture that, and it will take you to some prompts that you can use to give. Or you can go to boldrecklessgrace.org slash giving. That's boldrecklessgrace.org slash giving. Now, today is not only Father's Day weekend. It is also Juneteenth weekend. And this is the weekend when uh, back in 1865, those who were enslaved, particularly in Texas, finally learned that they were free. And this weekend is a reminder to us that the work that we began as a nation 
uh, to be a free people has been a difficult work for us, a long process, and we're still in the process of making sure that everyone is free. And so today on this Juneteenth weekend, uh, I'd like to share a prayer with you, and then we'll have a song, and then we'll celebrate communion together. We pray, O Lord, for change. Jesus, you revealed God through your wise words and loving deeds, and we encounter you still today in the faces of those whom society has pushed to the margins. Guide us through the love you revealed to establish the justice you proclaimed, that all peoples might dwell in harmony and peace. Grant us grace to contend fearlessly against evil and to make no peace with oppression. Help us, like those generations before us who resisted the evil of slavery and human bondage in any form and any manner of oppression. Help us to use our freedoms to bring justice among people and nations everywhere to the glory of your holy name. And most of all, Lord, change our routine worship and work into genuine encounter with you and our better selves so that our lives will be changed for the good of all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On the night which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks. He broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Eat this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink and said, This is my blood. It's been poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Drink this for the remembrance of me. Let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for you, and for his sake, God forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained minister of the gospel, I declare to you the entire forgiveness of all of your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
As you eat the cracker or the bread that you have, this is the body of Christ given for you. And as you drink the wine or the grape juice, this is the blood of Christ shed for you. And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you unto everlasting life. Peace be with you. Amen. Before you head on out, I want to share with you some of the things that are coming up here. We're looking forward to being with you again next weekend. And uh, Pastor Jose, Jose, who is now officially our part-time pastor of pastoral care, is going to be giving the message. I'll be here with you as well, and he's going to share the message uh, as we continue our uh, journey through the Gospel of Luke, following Jesus through the Gospel of Luke. And uh, we'll be with you at 5 o'clock on Saturday and on demand after that, or you can come and join us live on Sunday mornings at 9 and 10.30. We've got musical theater camp coming up here in just a few weeks. And all the information for you at boldrecklessgrace.org slash performing arts. That's boldrecklessgrace.org slash performing arts. Uh, and we've got, we're going to be doing our Disney show again. It's been a couple years now, and we're really excited about it. That'll be happening in August. But if you'd like to be a part of the rehearsals, you can email Lisa. That's with an E, Lisa, at boldrecklessgrace.org, boldrecklessgrace.org. They're taking this weekend off, and they'll get back at it again next weekend. I uh, want to let you know two things. Number one, we start Vacation Bible School on Monday. And we've got uh, almost 70 kids signed up for that, a number of adults help, help, uh, helping out with that. And so if you, uh, throughout the week, think about your church, I hope that you'll pray for our Vacation Bible School. And then I mentioned just a few moments ago this uh, special offering we did last weekend uh, where all the money that we received has gone into gift cards that we are giving away to our people and to the friends of our people. And if you'd like to be a part of that offering, all you need to do is just text the word Samaritan with the amount you'd like to give, Samaritan with the amount you'd like to give, to 623-295-2484, 623-295-2484, and that will go toward more cards. And we're really excited about this project. It's a way for us to tangibly help each other and to help our friends in this difficult financial time. And so if you'd like to help out, text the word Samaritan with the amount you'd like to give to 623-295-2484. And so now as you go, may our loving Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face smile upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord always turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good week. Go bold and live grace.